Hi guys, it's Jess and Chris. And today we're gonna take you out for a walk with us in Ely. I think that's how you say it. So come with us and enjoy the walk. We were able to find free parking at the St. Mary Street car park for two hours. This is the King's Arms that features two cast condition L's. Here is the Lamb Hotel and Pub, originally built in the 15th century. Here you'll see us look at the Ely Cathedral, and on the right hand side, you'll see the Ministry Tavern that is the oldest hostelry in Ely, famous for being a little bit haunted. At this point, we were trying to decide which direction we wanted to head, but then we saw a US plane fly over the cathedral, so that was the direction we went. A little bit about the Ely Cathedral has originally dated back to AD 673. Built as an abbey church, the present building dates back to 1083 and was granted cathedral status in 1109. Here is the Ely Memorial commemorates the residents of Ely who were killed or missing in World War I with 224 names and World War II with 92 names. Here is where we were taking a moment to remember all of those fallen or went missing and at this time we had a gentleman come up and share his story with us which was very emotional. Here is where the Ely Market is held. It has been the heart of the community for more than 800 years. On the left hand side is Bent and Cornwall Quality Meats. And here is the Ely Food Center, which we both enjoyed. Here's a couple of pop-up shops that we were able to see and enjoy. And we got a kick out of the last one that you'll see. It is the traditional, what we think of, carnival food. Here we are taking another little stroll and looking at places that we may come back to eat in the future. At this point, I think I must have just been really hungry and ready to go eat. I really enjoyed this little walk area. It was brick and just made me really appreciate being here in England. You can see a little bit of the cathedral at the top, which was really cool as well. Here's a restaurant called Sushi and Salad I've heard some really good things about. I love this walkway leading to the cathedral in between all of the little shops. It's just fantastic. Here we are looking at the Ely Cathedral once again. It is absolutely breathtaking and we are on our way to the Physic Garden.
This cathedral is absolutely breathtaking at every angle. Here we are walking up to the Ely Cathedral Physic Garden. During the medieval periods, there was a thriving monastery here in Ely Cathedral. Part of the work of the monastery was to heal the sick. Where illness was primarily treated using herbs and plants that would have been grown in the monastery, gathered locally, and occasionally purchased at the market. All the signs that I am about to start showing you are of the herbs and plants and all the medicinal purposes that they were used for. Here we are about to walk into the almondry and go and enjoy some lunch. But at first we're going to take a peek at the garden. Enjoy. Here I am admiring the happy bees, even though I am deathly allergic to them. I had my EpiPen, so I felt good to go. I love watching them put in the work. Here's a couple of pictures of our family enjoying the Ely Cathedral and the pictures that I was able to take. It is fantastic and truly breathtaking. Here we are at the Almondry. A 13th century almondry restaurant is a truly unique dining experience located within the medieval precinct of the Ely Cathedral. Chris and I were able to enjoy a lunch date here and we had a great time being able to see the Ely Cathedral as we dine. Fantastic, highly recommend if you've never been. 